do's and don'ts when contacting your state senator. It would seem that this would be an easy assignment, but there are some do's and don'ts that should be mentioned. You should educate the senator on the issue. Senators don't know everything. They need individuals with disabilities to educate them on disability issues. Keep your comments brief and to the point. Please try not to ramble. Make comments genuine and personal. Don't make stuff up. Use your lived experience to prove your point. Even if you do not agree with the senator, agree to disagree. With more information, they may change their minds later. You should not be negative about the senator. Focus on the issue, not the person. Point to all the reasons why the bill will benefit or harm people with disabilities. Burn bridges. Even if you do not agree on one issue, you may agree with others. So stay on good terms. Don't give up. You can always circle back with more information. The best ways to contact your senator. A personal meeting is the best way. Go in a group to save time. Keep the meeting brief. Everybody's time is valuable. Know what you want to say and stay on message. Do not get distracted by offices, titles, or idle chit chat. A phone call is the next best thing. You may be able to reach a senator's office by phone. Sometimes you will reach the senator, sometimes their staff. That is okay, a senator's staff will take your information and give your message to the senator. The same rules apply as above. Be brief, but to the point. Tell them what they need to know and why. Offer to be an informational resource to the senator. Letters or emails are effective too. Many people like this form of communication. It offers a chance to write down your comments and think before you speak. Always write the email in your own words. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. We hope you have success with contacting your senator about your issue.